Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So today I'm working in my art journal again. I've been having a lot of fun with this and it's been very therapeutic for me and I've been really enjoying it. Um, yeah, I just, it lets my mind just relax for a few minutes. So I posted a picture on my community tab of a finished piece, which you're about to see here in a little bit. And I was recording it. And when I was like, and so I looked up at 28 minutes and it was still recording. And then I just got lost in my work. And then I looked up and my phone was not recording anymore. And I don't know if I was recording for too long or what, but I was super bummed because I thought I lost the footage. Um, and it was nowhere to be found. I don't know where the first part was. And then I proceeded to do some other things and I came back and part of the video was now back on my phone. Like, I don't know if it was processing or what, but so this is it. This is the piece. Um, I don't have the entire page Obviously, I'm missing part of it, but that's okay. We got some of it back, and that's good enough for me. I really love these colors, the orange and the blue and the white. and I don't know. I just, I really liked it. I had a lot of fun. So I wanted to just take um, a quick second to thank everybody for your prayers and kind words and stories that you've shared with me over the news of my father. Um, I just, I really appreciate it. And I read each and every one and, um, although I'm sad that you, you, a lot of you have gone through the same thing or are going through the same thing. Um, I take comfort in the words that you guys have given me and, um, and you guys know where I'm coming from and, from and what I'm going through. So I just, I really appreciate all of that. My family appreciates the prayers and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and what else was I going to say about, or something else? Hmm. I'm not sure I lost my train of thought. Um, I don't know if you can hear the rain right now, but it is pouring. It's been super wet and which is great for crafting. It's my favorite time to craft when it's nasty outside, but the, the rain broke for a little while. And that was my cue to get my parents dog outside. I had, she needed a walk. I have my parents dog. If you aren't following my channel and don't know, um, she's staying with us for just a little bit. And anyway, so I, she was very excited to go out on this walk. And, um, so anyways, we go out on this walk, you guys, and I see this little old man and this tiny, tiny little Yorkie that he's walking. And this little tiny Yorkie sees my parents' dog, Zena, and instantly was like, nope, not having it wasn't barking or anything, but just wasn't really moving. And so I kind of called up to the, the gentleman a little bit and I said, I can cross the street. It's not a problem. And he said, no, 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 we're fine. And so I just continued walking and caught up to him. He was walking towards me. And so you guys, we stopped and I'm not kidding you. We talked for like 10 minutes. And, um, it's funny because I know who his dog is. I've never seen her before, but I was walking Sherman one day and they live kind of on the block behind mine or two blocks behind mine and him and his wife. And she was walking one of their two dogs. They rescued both of them and they both came from horrible conditions and they're just the sweetest little old couple. And I saw a, another lady walking her dog and she went up to this Anyways, this is getting to be a really complicated story. Anyways, I just knew who the dog was because I've heard people talking as I was walking my dog that are also dog walkers. And so it's really funny when I made the connection who this dog was and who his wife was because I've seen her. And um, anyways, he was just the cutest. You guys, I love old men. I'm just, I, I just vibe with old people. 
Um, he was the sweetest guy ever and we swapped dog stories and, uh, just chatted about the day and all that kind of stuff. And little Sarah was his dog's name. <laughs> so cute. She was just the tiniest little thing. And I said, how much does she weigh? And he goes, too much, 10 pounds. <laughs> and I was like, I thought she made weighed maybe five pounds or something, but he was like, yeah, she likes her food. <laughs> He was just really cute. So anyways, we continued our walk and I was wearing like a rain poncho thing. And I, by the time we were, got back to home, cause we went on a brisk 30 minute walk, which is when I say brisk, like I may be short, but I've always walked really fast. And so um, I just didn't want, want to get caught in the rain and get sick because, you know, my immune system and everything. So anyways, we had a really nice walk, came back, we're home maybe 10 minutes and it started to pour again. So we were very lucky. Um, but I was walking and I was just in a zone. Like I was just kind of, you know, and I don't even know what I was thinking about because I was just kind of just walking. And all of a sudden I heard the loudest bark and it was so deep and I look over and there was a dog across the street. Well, first of all, I noticed Zena, Zena's behavior right away and I cussed because it scared the shit out of me, not at the dog, but just like it scared me really bad. And so I felt bad because there was like this lady with her dog. She didn't say anything to me or anything like sorry or whatever. Not that she did anything wrong or her dog did. I mean, it saw another dog and barked, but my instinct was I thought it was like a wild, not wild, but like a dog that had gotten out and was going to like come over and like attack. So we've in my neighborhood, there's a few people who have some dogs that are not so great. And, um, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I thought it was. So anyways, no harm, no foul. I probably scared her as much as her dog scared me. <laughs> so anyways, we're talking about dogs today because I'm doing dog art. Isn't this turning out so cute? I hated the white lines, but it gave me a good foundation to put the black lines. Well, I didn't hate the white lines. I just, yeah, I hated it. I didn't like it at all. But that's the cool part about collaging or art journaling or any of that kind of stuff is you can just go over it, glue over it, paint over it, cut it out, do whatever. You don't have to live with it. You can change it. Aren't those little crusty papers looking so divine? I actually end up switching them out later because the little crusty bits on my parchment paper were getting all over. Drove me nuts. So I'm going to switch here to a different paintbrush and just slap that paint all over the place. So fun. So much fun. I've just been enjoying the rain and oh man, just really enjoying um, mindlessly painting. It's so fun. Sometimes I complete a page. Sometimes I just do the background, dry it, move on to another page because you can always go back to it. My goal is to paint every page in this composition notebook. So that's why I'm just kind of getting those backgrounds done, but the collageist, collage, collage, collage artist, collager in me wants to add images on top right away. Cause that's the fun part, <laughs> at least for me. Well, I mean, aside from making the background, of course, but yeah, super fun. I didn't want to scare you and start talking again, but I wanted you to hear the rain. That sounds so pretty. I know you guys can hear it too. This ends up being one of my favorite pages that I've done so far. This is part of the footage that I thought I lost as well. 
Um, I do end up missing my favorite part of this page or that my favorite process part of this page, which is a bummer, but I'm so grateful that I, one, looked up and noticed that my camera stopped filming and two, that I got some of it done, you know, like part of the background done, but I am bummed that you didn't see, you won't see part of it and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. There's definitely a difference between like the cheap, cheap, cheap craft paint, you know, like the little tubes you get for like a dollar and like two, three dollar paint. It's definitely much thicker. Um, like right now, all of these that I'm using are um, metallic and it's a really thick paint. So it go it spreads really far and it really covers over the page. Whereas the thin stuff, I mean, don't get me wrong. It has a purpose too. I love it for blending and like um, slapping the color down and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it doesn't show, it doesn't cover the page entirely, which isn't, I don't even care if the lines shine through a little bit. That kind of adds to the image, in my opinion. Like the lines from the composition notebook is what I'm talking about. And some of you had asked if the Nicole paint was, <laughs> I think one of you asked if I put like a sticker over it that said Nicole's or um, how that worked. And I did answer that in my video, but no, that paint is actually called Nicole's paint. And I found it at a craft store here in Oregon. Um, but you can buy it. I mean, I've shown it in videos before and people from other states have said they've had it. So, um, they've used it before, but it's just like a, you know, they were like two for a dollar or a dollar each kind of situation. But when I saw them at the craft store, I was like, yeah, I'm going to need like 10 of these because I have to have paint that has my name on it. So there's the little, okay, so here we are. This is all the stuff that you guys missed, all the circles and doodling and that kind of stuff. So, so bummed about that. I used a gold paint pen and those little circles are from a um, glue stick lid. And then I did some squares and in the squares are some gold. And then I did some scribbles of gold and cutting out some outfits from a magazine this morning I went through some of my magazines I haven't gone through yet like um that were Harper's Bazaar that kind of stuff and found some bodies that I can use in my well yesterday I found some and then today I needed more so I went through and you know fashion magazines are great for that for finding a head or for finding a body or like eyes and that kind of stuff. Cause they have a lot of models in there and stuff. So, um, that's where I go to find images for this kind of stuff. And the paper tends to be in those kind of magazines a bit thicker, so it's better quality. So, um, yeah, I really like that. So this is one of the outfits that I found and I got super irritated cause there was this tiny, there I am. <laughs> So there was this like super tiny little piece of white that I didn't cut off and I needed, I wanted to cut it off and then I couldn't. And like every time I went to cut it, it would just like move out of the way or <laughs> fold over or something. And I was like, I just want to cut off this little piece and it would not let me. So funny. And then these dog heads I've been using are from a book, um, Shoot, I can't remember what it's called right this second. Um, but if anybody wants to know, I'll try to remember to put it. I'll try to remember to put it in the description box. But if I don't, um, let me know in the comments. But it's a book that my friend Trudy gave me. She sent it to me in a happy mail um, a while ago, like a year a year ago, I think, and maybe longer. And anyways, I love the little heads that are, I mean, there's full body dogs in there too, but I save all the like dog heads for this kind of stuff. And I just love her so much. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. And then on that shirt that I cut out, there was a quote on there and it said to tell the truth. And so I just put out, cut out, tell the truth. 
I think I need to go around her hat though now that I'm looking at this maybe in some white so that it pops a little bit more it kind of blends in with the orange and red that's behind there um so I might need to do that maybe I'll do yeah I might I mean when you're in person it's more it's not as blendy um oh well, maybe it is I don't know I'm just noticing that now so we'll see I waste nothing. I take the little quote as well. Wow, it is pouring. I feel bad for all the kids that have to walk home from school in this. I was one of those kids. I walked home in this kind of stuff. I mean, not all the time. I got rides and stuff too, but... Sometimes my parents worked and I had to walk home to tell the truth. Oh, I didn't put the two. I just put tell the truth. <laughs> Isn't she so cute? And I just have one more little thing that I'm going to do here. And that is to add some gold hearts. She has hearts in her, her glasses, her sunglasses are hearts. So I just added some gold hearts in that little space right there. Um, and I really love how it turned out. They look really cute and really subtle and I'm not sure what I'm going to put on the other page yet, if anything at all. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for subscribing. Like the video if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.